Hello and welcome to Infinity. What we're going to do now in our series on retouching eyes is to move to the pupil, which is the dark area in the middle, and to make sure that's, that's dark and, and it's usually completely black. So if I zoom into that a little bit, then we can see here, if I actually get the pipette there and drag this down here, you can see red, green and blue are all zero, or very close to, they may be very little bit, but you won't see the difference there. So what I want to do is to just clone over these bits here which are intruding. So for that I put in a new pixel layer, so down here add pixel layer, which puts that layer up there. Then I'm going to go to a clone brush, and in here I want opacity 100%, hardness round about 50 to just get a bit of a soft edge. And there the aligned is turned off and the source here is current layer and below. So it's picking up bits from below here. Then in the middle of the dark bit here, alt click leaves behind a little uh, plus sign there and it's going to source from there. And then I can just simply paint over the areas here. And when I let go, look at the little plus again, see it snaps back to the middle of that area there, it goes back to its origin point. So, because I'm copying from that area and I don't need it to follow me every single time. So I can just do this. And you can also, if you want to, you can zoom in and see it a little bit better. And there we go. Now then, and if I look at this here, what I'm seeing is that this doesn't look quite round. And I just want to nudge it out a bit. The, the, the uh, iris itself can also be a slightly off and might need some tweaking. But in particular, if the pupil is, because that's where we look, if that's not quite round, you might want to give it a little nudge in the right direction. So the way to do that is, first of all, let's get a circle and check it. So I'll right click down here to get to an ellipse. Find approximately the center of these here and control shift and drag will pull the circle out. And we're seeing this on it here because it actually appeared underneath. If I drag it above, there we go. Now to be able to see through this, I turn down the opacity. I can see whether this is right and I'll use the move tool here to drag it into position. If it's snapping a bit, turn the snapping off. There we go, we can move that a bit more smoothly now. I would find you can see up here that it's just a little bit intruding into that. So what we want to do is actually push this up using the warp tool. And to do that, we're going to use rulers to help align it. So what I'm going to do here is go to view and show rulers, which shows these here. Then I create guides, but with the move tool, go into there and drag across. These are only virtual things. They're not going to be part of the picture and just drag them over to the edges there. So it's just going to be there. So drag that down to the bottom. And here, I always drag this down, not to the top of the circle, but to the top. Yeah, if I actually take that off there, you can see that. Now then I'm going to stretch this. So I want this pixel layer here and the bottom layer to be combined. So I'm just going to right click on that and say merge down. So I've just put that into there and I don't, I don't need to change that. Now I'm going to use these guidelines here to help with the mesh warp. So I right click there, might have said perspective tool to make sure I get mesh warp there. Then just go to a circle here, click once, twice, sorry to the those crosshairs, the blue cross, click once and twice. And now I've got this around the edge, which means that I can distort this. Yeah. But before I do that, I want to stop it from pushing too far. So I'm going to click once, twice up there, once, twice down here. And that gives an area in here that will be distorted, but outside it will not. So I turn the lips back on again, make sure I've got the background selected. So when I drag this here, I can see I'm moving this. So I can just move it so it's at the edge of the circle. I can play with any of these other points as well, just to give it a little tweak inwards just to completely reshape it a little bit but only do little bits because you don't want it to look too bad. 
and if you go too far it'll look odd again so there we go that looks just great and to get rid of those guidelines here go to the move tool and just drag them off so they're not a part of the image you wouldn't save them and so on so go back down here the ellipse itself we can take off if we want and there we go there is our fixed iris that's it and thank you very much for watching